to take a look at the planning board minutes, uh, the last date of our, our uh, last meeting, February 20th. Regarding the uh, various zoning changes and uh, things that were going forward for the town warrant. That's what, here. that's what counts. Hey, Greg. Sorry. Yeah, we're looking at the minute, minutes of the, reviewing yeah, the minutes. Wilma. We got a couple more minutes. Wilma, I did look at them. You did, huh? Yes, I did. Good for you. Oh. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Chris. Hey, Greg. Oh. That's all right. Take your fur coat off. Summer here. Oh. Any further discussion? Move. No, I'll move to accept them as printed. All those in favor of the minutes, approving the minutes of February 20th, 2014? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, 735 of Mr. Chris Smith, 9 Prospect Street. Good to address the board. Please. Sure. Hello. <laughs> we, we talked a, a while back and, and thinking about, and this is really just a very informal discussion. basically uh, 24 units there um, uh, with um, two car garage for each unit and um, kind of following the idea of the uh, Elm Street which uh, we're going to talk about that where they call that Hatfield Village mm -hmm. up there. This over 55? Uh, I'm trying to see which way we can go with this. Uh, now, you know, we've got a lot of different situations in Hatfield and, um, you know, Garrick's uh, a good example of multi-housing or, or what do you call it, um, multi-dwelling, multi-family. Um, and our bylaw is a little bit sketchy. Well, from my understanding, under 55. Right. I believe you have to have 45,000 square feet in the frontage, 200. 
and if, if there's you know a two family it'd be sixty five thousand to join the four fund. So Are you talking about for under fifty five. Right. Uh, well, you know, I'm, we start looking at what Mr. Bowles is doing there. He was different. I mean, he had more property than there. Okay, he has six acres. Uh, right. He has six units, five units. He's under, he had to go back and revise that. I understand. Okay. So but he's I, all right now. He's fine. Because he has six acres there. And he has a driveway, a road. Right. So he has a tour the front. Yeah. All right. Well, he doesn't have is 200 feet of frontage for one lot and 200 feet for the other. These six units to 200 feet. So you have six acres. Six acres, okay. I've got four something. Okay. He has 200 feet of frontage on Elm Street. Hmm? He has 200, more than 200 feet of frontage. So I on have Elm. more than 200 feet right. of frontage. Yeah, you have a... Uh, Around three forty or three something. So, I guess I don't have money. Money. Oh. It's something there. I mean, if you look at multifamily dwelling, a building or a group of buildings, right, containing two or more, not more than six per building, is where how am I, I'm interpreting that, right? Under your uh, definition, it's 9.49. It's own residential. Yeah. What's that? Mm -hmm. Multi family um, dwelling, okay, 60,000 square feet. I said 65. Plus 4,000 square feet. Right. Okay. Um, you could technically put 38 units in there. If you want, based on that, still so need a 200 foot frontage, though. Where you see 200 foot frontage on, for each one. I'm on one. page um, 28. Yeah, I, I'm just saying. You, okay. Multi family dwelling, yeah. right? Six, yeah. But this is, that's town center. Well, it's pretty much that's the same. That's all I'm saying, whichever zone you're in. Okay, and then 200 feet is the next line over. Right. Not for each one. Right? I'm that's how you're interpreting because Mr. I Bowles mean, is is way out of whack there. Well, Mr. Mont I mean, Mr. Montashevitz has five in his, okay, and he had the same problem. And he went, he put a road down, and he got his 45,000 square feet plus 200 feet. Yes, and he did individual lot. We're talking yeah. about common, you're talking about a, like a condo situation here. Just like you are with uh, Mr. Bowles, and just like you're talking with the... Uh, Village. Over 55 half the village. Yeah. Okay. That's different. That's different. Okay. Well, and again, I'm exploring. Okay, yeah, okay. Let's talk about yours and not Mr. Bowles and somebody else. Talk well, about yeah, yours but Corey, right now. But Corey, we... I know, I heard you. Following by example, right? Okay. This is just preliminary anyway. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Chris, you're Thank considering you. this proposal as an alternative to not doing anything, right? Or a something else? What what else might you have used this property for? Well, I mean I basically I'm in a pickle here. I, I purchased the property at auction, as you know. And uh, I uh, thought I had a house there I could restore. That turned out not to be the case. Um, I had to, I had to take it down or I was going to be condemned. And I've got well over a quarter of a million tied into this property. I can't get that back by just selling it. So I'm trying to look at other options. Now, could you do other things with it, I suppose, um, to get the return? Uh, you know, there was a time in Hatfield where solar might be a, an option, but that's gone now. Well, why, why do you say that? Uh, well, There's you no don't even allow a cooperative anymore. Well, yes, you, yes, we do with the same kind of reviews that you would have for this project. I mean, it's no it be a special permit, right? But you need a special <coughs> permit for this Ooh. too. Yeah. Right. So but, but we know uh, how, what, how that would be. Freezing. 
given what ha has been happening in Hatfield. I mean, there's no more salt in Hatfield, really, going on. I've checked with site leaders, no new permits. I mean, we were doing it for a while, but it's kind of... Well, but if you're just testing the waters, I mean, it, that, that is something to test, right? I mean, it... Could be. Because, I mean, it, the, the level of review and public hearing is going to be no different for this project than it would be for uh, a, a solar project. Yeah, but if I'm leasing the property for solar, and given what's going on with solar right now, the SREC 2 program, I have to even get permission, you know, if I go over oh, 25 kilowatts, I mean, it's, it's getting pretty hard. So there are other factors in play. There are. Yeah, yeah. okay. I, I mean, Hatfield makes it difficult to begin with, but then if you, if you wanted to do a serious solar project, the state is also um, making it more difficult under the SRF2 program. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for me to lease it, uh, what would I, you know, I, would, I wouldn't get the return to overcome what I've lost so far. Mm -hmm. It'll so, take a long time. So Chris, what are you, what are you asking from us now? I'm, I'm trying to okay. sort of get a sense of which, how to go forward okay. with this. Um, um, it, it, my understanding, Greg, is that 55 and over, yeah. it's pretty much a, a go, a green light. Okay, all right. Uh, sure. However, um, you know, if there was that option, by the way, I just want to be real clear. These houses that we're talking about, um, as you know, I'm a, as a former member of the Energy Committee and so on, I would want these to go stretch code or better. I mean, much more than stretch code in, as far as one foot thick insulated walls, um, south facing uh, primarily to get a lot of passive solar. Um, capability of put, being able to put solar if individuals wanted to on their on their homes, they'd be set up to do that. Uh, uh, geothermal heating, if, if possible. These are things that uh, would push up costs somewhat, and may not be something 55 and over would find attractive. But then again, it, they may. I mean, we're in an area. Uh, I would have to explore it, but if I was limited to 55 and over only, then I would have to look, what, what can I put there that would be, meet those energy, right, All right well, issues, um, and then, uh, and, and still be attractive to 55 and over so individuals. What I, what I would suggest, was what we told them, what we told Mr. Bowles is to go back to the architect or whatever and fit it into our zoning and then come back again, okay. So um, I would I would want to make a motion to just under advisement for the time being until yeah. Chris comes back with um, you know definite plans or whatever and then you know then we act on it. yeah then we'll act on it. Okay. Chris, You're talking I, geothermal. You know what it's costing Sunderland up there to heat their schools? We haven't thousands of dollars. There's no heat in the ground. Frozen. Oh, you mean if the geothermal failed? Yeah, in the school, no. Yeah. Anyway, so it's only good I'm so old. far. To take an advisement, unless if, if you yeah, want Well, to. the only thing I was going to say, Chris, so in the other thing, which of course we did do with Mr. Bowles, was that um, presumably you've done this, but just the number of units, and this was something that his architect missed when we first went through this, was okay. that... It's, it's 60,000 square feet is the minimum lot, and then you need 4,000 square feet for each unit. So, in other words, you have to add that in. So, when you for make, each unit, you need another 4,000 square feet. For, right. Yeah, so to get one multifamily unit, you'd need uh, 64,000 64, square, square feet. feet. And then to get two, you need 68,000 square feet. Correct. Yeah. So just and three. Yeah. So on. yeah. Right. Yeah. You could put thirty-eight yeah. units in. Here. Yeah. How, how many acres is here? Well, uh, over four. But and then remember, there's a fifteen percent maximum lot coverage. So, right. so. So. But you understand that 
because the westerly side is near the river. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm doing a hundred foot setback as well. Yeah, well, there would be. Have to, yeah, well, there's certain aspects of the know, lot that I you're know. not going to be able to develop anyway. Right. True. And so true. you lose that comes off of your available Absolutely. square footage. Right. Yeah. Mr. Montashevitz managed to get a five in there <laughs> by getting a good architect. Oh, I, well, no, I, we all know how we did it. Yeah. With the with the rat tail lots, but or carpet, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's also not you know, but I'm not trying to. He was just trying to create building lots. What I'm trying to do is something a little beyond that. Mm -hmm. And yes, there is a demand for 55 and over. There's no question. The uh, the current Hatfield Village is, has filled up, essentially. I think yeah, it sold out. It took a while, but... <laughs> yeah, it did. But yeah. remember, they got hit in the middle of the Great Recession. Too. That's true, but they were having trouble before that even yeah. hit. So yeah, no, Porter's approach was, was brilliant, too. Yeah to basically a la carte it mm -hmm. the way they did. Yeah. And I, there's lessons to be learned there, for yeah. sure. All right, so um, so coming back to, to Bob for a second. If there, if, given that you could do 30 some odd mm -hmm. units in there, what is the per se, what, is there any other issues I'm missing? If if we if we comply to this, right, and the definition which says multi housing, right, uh, why is this not something that we could go forward with, or you know, start to get firm, you know, going with architect? By the way, I'm using the talking to the same architect that Bowles is mm -hmm. um, going forward with developing that, working with my neighbors and so on, and then coming for a formal hearing. I'm really trying to get a sense, is there, what, what would cause, is there any, or, what do I want to say here, is there anything that would cause you to, to not go forward with it? Well, I mean, as far as Mr. Bowles, how many times did he come back? I mean, three, four, three, four. Three, four. four. Four times, I think and, it was. You know, and we have to, you know, we have the public hearing. We have to listen to, you know, sure. other people and things like I'm that. Starting so with you. Okay. okay. Yeah. We'd have to f yeah. also hear from the, um, um, like, I, I don't know if, if there's enough capacity on prospects yeah, I mean, for sewer you know, and water and all that, all that and, kind of and, stuff. You know, turn and around. Fire department like to turn around. Turn around. Emergency yeah. vehicles to turn around. That would be one issue that would just not that, I mean, just one thing that would be a consideration that would be different from a, with a project, any project along Prospect Street compared to Elm Street is that this is Prospect Street in terms of being a smaller street, um, Elm being, you know, one of the main avenues in town, so to speak. That's just a consideration that, yes, that it's, you'll want to take into when you're doing your design and your your in your egress and inflow you know outflow from this project traffic right? study and yeah. i found out on saturday it's 25 miles per hour by the police so. yeah because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they do take radar right, on he, that street was he in my driveway did he get <laughs> no no but it is 25 trust me <laughs> so you know in elm street oh, you know, so yeah. that takes you know that comes into consideration because elm street is a little different and we had a little, because we had a little miles problem. An hour trying yeah. to come out and, and an 80 year old person. We had a little problem, you know, with, with Hatfield Village, and we made a condition where, you know, uh, I don't even know if it went through with it, but, you know, um, you know, it wasn't just a turn in, you know, we, we had a little, you know, because people yeah. get off so when they're turning to mm -hmm. slow up, okay? So that was, that was an issue over there. Mm -hmm. okay. A curb cut. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's called yeah, the curb right. cuts. So, um, Right. No, you're right there. And it is 25. <laughs> it is 25, and that's a good thing. Um, you know, uh, and 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 the police do watch it. Oh yes, they do. So. Well, I was leaving town this morning. Car came around the corner down here, 60 miles an hour. Wow. They were they were late getting their kids to school. <laughs> Did they make the curve? <laughs> Just about. Jeez. So anyway, okay. I guess that's good enough. Okay. I think so. Okay, thank right. you. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you. But you got a lot with the town to get when they tell you they got enough water, enough gas, or whatever you're going to use for heat and all that. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
Um, any other business before 8, 8 o'clock? I'm going to start with Mr. Mozick. we got oh, eight. a few minutes. It's not a hearing or nothing, right? Huh? Is it a, it's not a hearing, right? No, no, it's no. just the information. No, okay, yeah. So we can just, start, no. Yeah. Just, no. Yeah. Just, no. Yeah. You got any? Do you want to do this one first while we're waiting? or? Yeah, we can do that. The bylaw uh, amendment? We'll take a look at this uh, legal notice review bylaw amendment. Uh, and this is on. Uh, this came to us from the Board of Selectmen. Mm -hmm. um, is this a new one? No, well, it's. it's uh, Second hand. I don't know what my question is going to be. <laughs> no, no, it's, anyway. it's, it's an amendment. Um, Did I get a copy for me? Where is it? It should, it should be in your notes. Oh, I got it. What's it called? Okay, I, I apologize. What's it called? Hey. It's, uh, it's a legal right notice. So this, the first part is a legal notice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, proposed legal notice for our next meeting on April 2nd. Um, oh. About public review okay. and referral of special permit ap applications. Um. We have enough time, right, Wilma, on April 2nd for a, mm -hmm. a, Okay. So what is the material change here well, in that? The changes have to do with the name industrial development. If you look on the bylaw, let's put page, uh, page 34 of the bylaw indicates industrial development that is no longer. Oh, I now see. That is, uh, industrial Development Commission. Yeah, Redevelopment oh, Authority took that place. Oh, OK. And, uh, Plug it into his nose. So it's just um, it's just so making language. our current bylaws conform with the existing names and, uh, and presence and, yeah. and presence of uh, various committees yeah. that would be alerted to. Uh, and I notice actually that the uh, current bylaw doesn't include uh, the Ag Advisory Commission and Historical Commission, who are about both now. Well, it does, but it's down here. Oh, it's that's I see. So that so this is here. this is cleaning this up mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh -huh. And we had a DPW. Yeah. That needs to be there. So, um, Mr. Chairman, can I speak on this? Sure. Go ahead. I just think if we get commercial parking. No, no, this well, isn't this commercial is, parking. That's the other one. This, that's right. that's that's, that's later one. on. This yeah. is the one about. Uh, 5.35, which talks about procedures yeah, for review oh, and know. referral of special, um, special permit application. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were talking parking. Changed no. all the way to, you know, for a... Which, which includes the Agricultural Commission. It, we don't have an Industrial Development Commission. We have now have a Redevelopment Authority. We included the Fire Department was on there. The uh, Police Department was on there. We didn't have the Agricultural uh, or Agricultural... Agricultural Advisory Commission or the Historical Commission. So we're adding that. The other thing, Paul, that you folks need to be aware of is that the original indicates the application has to be given to all of those departments. And the change is just giving notice and advising people to come to the town clerk and review the file. That's a much better mm -hmm. suggestion. Mm -hmm. We're killing trees. Yeah. <laughs> So we can't vote on this tonight because we no, have no, to no. have this up. No, we're going to have public a public hearing. hearing. It's yeah. just kind of yeah. an information. What yeah. I need is your approval so I can go ahead and publish. That's what I'm looking for tonight. The public hearing. And the select have a public hearing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll make a motion, you know, to accept the amendment. That's written. And for a public hearing um, on schedule on April 2nd. We have a second. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. April second. Yep. Yeah. April second. Okay. That's the first one. Yeah. That explains the next, the other. It has to do with commercial parking.
Yeah, the second one, we want to talk about that. We've got five minutes here. Uh, uh, seen, seen the, saw the email from uh, Mr. Boyle regarding, I guess, River Valley Market came and wanted to get commercial parking in Hatfield. And, uh, Where? Does it say in here? Do we know who the landowner is? Yeah. Uh, he, I think they're looking at the medical uh, center building there. Uh huh. Uh, as a possible. So let me ask. We you. currently have no commercial nice. parking. Okay. So Never had. Let, so let me propose something. So I don't want to pick, but say, um, so as these potato farms, does that mean that they could park their trucks there all the time? I mean. Wow, that's a good point. Okay. What about all the cars um, that they take in and all these dealerships? Because I mean, you know, they're good. I mean, they, you know, they park yeah. their, you know, the trucks at their place of business, which is good. Okay. I just and think um, it's not going to do Hatfield any good parking all those. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not really for it either. I, I, and, the uh, business is in Northampton. Why can't they? Because half doesn't furnish them anything. I don't. They're I don't, gonna I don't think it's here. necessary. Buy Mr. Labby's property across the street. Tear it up. Tear the building down and make a parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's a dangerous Something situation. They won't. You know, we never got parking tickets, okay? We got people illegally parking cars, you know, in various places. Yeah. Uh, my street doesn't have any parking on it, okay? And there's always cars parked on it. Um, so, you know, it's going to be hard to enforce, all right? Um, you know, our, our police department has enough to do. And I know they, you know, they don't issue um, parking tickets for um, residential cars, so. And then you get, in, you get into commercial. Um, I just don't think it's a good idea because I don't. I don't think you know Hatfield is. You know, I don't like it either. That has much business. You know, it has business, but you know where it's. You know, not. You know, I mean, they don't really necessarily need um, commercial. Um, how's the not agriculture? So. How's the agricultural man feel? Well, let me just. I, I I just need to understand. So the the medical building right now that we have in town, where the old bowling, bowling alley used to be. So their parking is restricted to just their use. Yeah. We, so commercial parking would mean that they could sublease some of that space to someone else. Right. Is that the distinction? Oh, okay. I mean, I there's, there's Route 5, since it's, they don't have on-street parking, right? Who's that? Oh, Route, Route 5. 5, right, because it's state. Oh, I don't right. think they so. They don't have yeah. any. I don't right, think so. right. So, so in this case, River Valley Market would be looking to someone in Hatfield to sublease some of their space for their employees or whatever. And the concern is you're expressing is that if they do it, then well, anybody's got to come in. Anybody could then go and okay. and you could get Nissan. I, you, I use Zazi as an example. Yeah, okay. right. I, I understand. Okay. So and, yeah. and our current bylaw, 4.24 commercial parking lot. I don't know. Maybe you yeah, looked at uh, this when we did when this was updated. Yeah. It's not allowed in any, anywhere. Right, where you would just put in a parking lot for the right. sake of then and, subleasing. And the business is not, in, it's not in Hatfield, right? Yeah, it's no, not no, even. No, it's in Northampton. Yeah. But see, Northampton North doesn't ever provide enough planning for the cars, the extras. They're all short up there. Well, and I, yeah, and, and it, it I don't is, care where you are. Yeah, no. yeah, it's tight up. It's tight up there in that yeah. space, no doubt. Yeah, about it is. It. So they got it one way now. Yeah, you know, right, right now, that's only one. You know, one business, right? Um, and I don't exactly know. Um, the board of selectmen wanted us to. Oh, they want they they want to add it to the bylaw. Um, in the email, as follow up, please add a change to the bylaw that permits commercial parking. Well, um, number one, I believe that that's a major change that requires public hearing. Right. And number two, at least I'm not in favor of that. So I, I wouldn't. Re I you know whatever the board decides to do, I wouldn't. Not, I wouldn't recommend it. Well, the po it's, it's not unlike the issue we had at our last meeting, and that's trying to address one specific circumstance with a bylaw that then can be used by yeah. everybody, uh, everybody yeah. which I think is, you know, here's one case where you have one business looking for a few spots. To actually change the bylaw to make that happen could then open it up. For, you, like, uh, yeah, I think uh, it would. Multiple. You know, I mean, it, multiple you know, there's a businesses. lot that has to be considered. And it's not ready, even you know, even if we were to agree, it's not ready to go to this town meeting because there's a lot you know we'd have to you know find out about if that's what if that's what they're thinking about. Right. Um, but we can go forward to have the meeting on April second. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 no, yeah. Public yeah. But, but I, I, I would. You're getting not, the feeling of the board. Right. I would not. So, yeah. you know, I think I don't most think of us feel the same the, way. I don't think this should be at the public hearing. <laughs> you don't even think. Well, I, that might be I think you know. Well, I mean, I don't think there's. We have enough time. I, you know. I'm only using an example. I don't know what, what it really would involve. 
you know, I would like to, I mean, I just think that by adding that on to that bylaw, I mean, we don't even know what, what, what that applies to, you know what I'm saying, commercial parking. I think that's opened up a big area there. And, you know, um, I mean, again, I suppose we can have it on a public hearing because, you know, you know we, have, we have to make, you know, All right. hear everything, but it's up to you. I mean, I, I don't know if it's something we should talk to the selectmen about um, now that they know that we're not you can, send, right. you can and, send them a letter on yeah, what you You know, I think we should send the them a letter and see if they want to go ahead with this, Wilma. Okay, and if they well, do, they really do. Huh? They, they, they really do. all three yeah, selectmen or, or just one? It's coming from Jeff, so is, is that? He's the chairman. Well, so I'm, I know, but it, it does Ed Leshko and Janet Damsky know about this? I don't know. I, mean, I don't know, if, does it say they discussed it at, at a meeting? They did. They did, okay. And you don't know what the vote was? I mean, uh, I don't recall. Okay. All I know basically was River Valley Market was looking for remote parking for their employees. They they parking at Big Y, Big Y. But, said, you can't park here and again, you know, we'd have, we, you know, we should bring them in too if we're going to have a public hearing. Because start I don't rock. understand how the Last employees, no. how the employees going to get to, the, I mean, you can't answer that, but. Yeah, yeah. How do they, I mean, we do, don't, we don't do, have now they got a bus or, running from. Well, we don't, can't have that. Route 5 up the street or something. But we can still have a public hearing next month. Yes. Yeah, I think yeah. we, should, we should inform the selectmen that. Then we're At not in favor of it. I'm not right. in favor of it. I'm not, yeah. you, know, well, you can take a vote of the committee yeah, here. I think we should. And, um, well, and if they want to go ahead, they, they can go ahead. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll take it up at the public hearing and right. we'll see if we're going to, you know, recommend it. So we have enough time to publish the... Yes, and I only did that in case you were interested. This, again, is waiting for approval from this board. Okay. So, so um, schedule a public hearing. Yeah. We have a motion to schedule a public hearing for April 2nd. To reject it. Uh, I, no, I, I think we should schedule the public hearing, okay, for, for the other person, okay? Or, I mean, for the, the amendment change. For this. Okay. And, and how much time would we have from this today? For, uh, uh, well, we would have it on okay. the 2nd. So second if, of April. if you have enough time, Wilma, you know, I think you should, you know, in writing, just We can draft the, the letter, letter, I'll sign it, okay. we'll get it to that, the select. You know, as it stands right now. The hearing, fellas. Yeah, well, you don't need to send a letter until after the hearing has decided what you okay. want to recommend. Um, we'll vote at the hearing, Greg. The okay. I, I just, you know, okay, fine. How about, how does that sound? All right, I need a motion. Okay. Well, before you make a motion, um, I suppose I can do this on my own. I can talk to the three selectmen just as a resident of the town, right? Absolutely. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Okay. Surprise, now, you know, yeah. how they come so quickly. If we're going to have a, a meeting, a hearing, it has to go in tomorrow for publication. Okay, fine. So okay. I so need a motion. Do we have a motion to have the public hearing on April 2nd? So, so move. move. Okay. I'll, no. second. Those in favor? I'll second it. All those in favor, aye. 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 No. Motion carries. Are you didn't ask me. On to the next <laughs> agenda. Okay. Did you Sorry, my Mr. Mazik. Uh, uh, Mr. Mazik, uh, old stage, 69 Old Stage yeah. Road. Okay. Four. All right. Thank you. George is deserted us for the good weather I heard. <laughs> I have a problem. I got land. <laughs> and Reading I wish the bylaws I <laughs> and, and stuff like that, and uh, sat down with Sykes and stuff. And my daughter's here with me, my youngest daughter. They're looking for a piece of land. And under the present zoning, uh, the only thing we can do is to detach single dwelling on the property, which is not desirable because in the future if we want to sell our house uh, the two units go with the property so if they build a house and we sell our house their house is gone too and unfortunately uh, you know uh, the only thing that we could find in the zoning 
bylaws is to get into a subdivision. And on one, my neighbors would all go nuts because we like the area up there and we, we want to try to keep it the way it is. And uh, unlike the gentleman here, I'm not interested in putting up 30 or 40 houses, even though it, this little packet I gave you, it's got in the red, this is the property I own, there's approximately 40 acres in there. It's in the packet. So, you got Right now, you don't have the frontage, even if you were just. You don't have street frontage, no. Yeah, I got I got street frontage here, which allows me my house, but not for two. Well, legally, by the zoning bylaws, you can put a, a detached yeah right a yes, dwelling yeah, correct, on there, yeah. but it all remains it as up. one piece of property. So, um, so if I give them a piece of land and they yeah, build, yeah. and then I decide to sell With, without subdividing. You can't. I can't okay, subdivide. Okay, yeah. okay. But, and Corey, he doesn't, his subject doesn't have 400 feet, right? No, he doesn't have the footage. Okay. That's the problem. 400, 400 feet, feet, yeah. Or 200 feet. Two, okay, all right. Yeah. Where's the road here? Um, yeah, this is over here. here. Oh, right here. Yeah. Oh. So you this got this right here, one. And yeah. and he's in, he's in about 300 feet. Uh, yeah. um, almost eight. 800, I'm, whatever I'm, it is. I'm almost eight, and then there's three other houses that this uh, and way we, services. Refresh my memory. What did Lacey do um, with his property? When, when they, in the He's got frontage all on on, on, uh, on um, Bridge Street. Okay. All, right. all those houses have frontage. Okay, now I remember. Okay. Because okay, he put a road down, right? I mean, or You're asking me to remember? Well, I don't know. You know, somebody uh, which, who... Who is uh, Lacey. <coughs> his house Lacey. is here, and he has his two kids' houses. On, on Bridge there. Street. In back of him. Oh, oh yeah, he had the frontage. He had, oh, he had the, the frontage. frontage. Okay, all right. I, and he had the land. And he had a lot of swamp. And you're river. still smart. I mean, you know, you remember certain yeah. things. <laughs> certain things. <laughs> the old fox just playing stupid. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and anyhow, uh, I'm trying to they, think they, of they, other things. The other, the other way is to get in with the subdivision, with the road okay. being with accepted. Road. Um, yeah. Being accepted as a uh, legal. Road. Way, yeah, okay. you know, um, and uh, I've, I've included pictures. Uh, th those are. It's interesting. If you take a look at these pictures, you can see this is our road from the satellite, and these are all the houses that are farther up the road. You can't even see Old Stage Road. The only the only road you can really clearly see. But anyways, you go you go to these pictures. The first picture is coming up the road. So this is this number one is Old Stage Road. Old Stage Old Stage Road. Yep. And this is where it That's ends. Uh, the, the pavement ends. Yeah. And then the dirt road starts. So, and my way is to the right. right. And more right. is at the end, left, right? Left. This here. is your mailbox. Yep. Right. So this is a left turn. This yeah. right here is a left turn right. to yeah. this Looking lane. That way, yeah. so this then, lane. Then you go in number two is turning off the road on the on your driveway on the whatever. driveway. Yeah. Uh, three and four is the way up to the house, and five is actually going. That's the long view. And actually, uh, it's a picture. It's past our driveway because at that point you have to turn off and go up the hill. And uh, as a comparison, I just did. On one A, two A, and up. That that is a uh, old stage road. You can see where in number two, where the pavement ends. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See and it. then you start your dirt road. Mm -hmm. And as you travel up the road, you will see it. It gets narrower and narrower. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the time you get to five and six, it's uh, almost a single lane road. And that's Moriarty's house, right? Because I've been to their house a few yeah. times. And so, so, that, so, so what I'm saying is yeah. if you take a ride up my property, you'll yeah. see mm -hmm. over the years, when I got up there, yeah. Lenny Helms was way out back, and I bought the piece out front, and he just had the logging road. He never, he never did anything to it. Um, and over the years, I put about 30 grand into it, and that road now is uh, about 20 to 22 feet wide, and there's about 10 feet of clearance on each side of it. 
And if you go up there and, and we take care of it, we maintain it ourselves. It's never cost the city. We plow it. If it needs to be sanded, we sand it. And uh, yearly, uh, if there's any ruts or anything, we take and we fill them. It's been, it must have about six, eight inches of TRG up there by now. And I'm just trying to think of examples that we did, so help me with. Um, does anybody know where Ted Williams lives? I thought he was dead. Yeah. No, well, no, not the baseball player. He doesn't live in that. Do you know where he lives, Bob? No. Um, he lives yeah. on um, you. Uh, Ted, he live, well, he lives up, uh, you know, near Waitley, right before. Corona Hill Road. Road. No, not Corona Hill Road. The other. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so well, well, um, um, no, it's, oh, it's right. you know, it's where, no, 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 Street, no, where Depot Road is going Street, towards Waitley. Depot, Straight Road. Then you go north to Waitley, on yeah, top of the hill. You know where, yeah. The, yeah. No, 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 Straight no, Road. Straight Road. It's across the street. I know where you're talking okay, about. Okay, so his house is there, okay? He has his house in the back. And he came in front of us maybe about a year ago. I don't think you were here, Bob. Yeah, no. but that was to split the split the property. Right. Yeah. So, Part of the property so he had, Again, does he, have, well, does he have 400 foot frontage? Is that why we split it? I'm sure yeah. he did. Okay. And now his house is in back, okay? Mm -hmm. And, you know, so you go down this long driveway, okay? Um, and there's a house, I believe, that's like in front of it. I'm just, you know, I'm wondering, it's not really in front, but, you know, I, I, I don't really, you know, too familiar with the property. Where, you think, where, would you, where would you want this other house lot to be? Okay, I just picked up... See where it's number 12, six point something. I just picked that piece up. I was an abandoned piece of land and the uh, city put it up. So that's in Northampton yeah. or is that in no, Northampton? No, Northampton's over okay. here. Oh. Okay, all right. I also own this South back lot. Yeah. But you're talk talking about this lot. This well, 6.4 acres or something? Well, no. Or is that, is that what? Well, actually, the, what I'm saying is, I just bought this, and I, I just this is all one big lot now. Okay. I everything in red. Mm -hmm. There's uh, 39 acres here. That's Who owns a property that's you know about this state. red? This is the part, part you're talking about. You just no, purchased. No, no, no. That's this different? is another lot I own. So you're okay. thinking that this this other house that you would like to see go in would be like somewhere back in here? It would be down, yeah, on this side here. Okay. So, what are the what are the requirements for? It's not a town road. A, a, a sub, but a, well, but a subdivision could have a private road, right? I mean, subdivisions could have a well, could have a private. You road. know, I, I see where it's coming from because you say the word subdivision. Yeah. You know, yeah. and people think they're putting like you know. Well, but we could you could restrict yeah, the number I, you of know, units. Yeah, I think we could probably do that. Well, well, th this this is what I'm saying is how. Do we get around it? I would hate okay. to see us change the current oh, flag there. lot issue that we have in town right. because, again, it's the same thing that we've dealt with, whereas to address one issue here opens up lots of other properties all over right. town. Um, yeah. No yeah. no way of, um, I don't know who your neighbor is, but no way he's partnering with that other, you know, because he's that long yeah. narrow strip. Yeah. Oh, that's that's uh, Rogaleski's. Oh. This piece? No, right no, here. no, on the front this piece oh. right here. That was I was oh, thinking, front. you know, you could but get But this it. got more, but uh, no, I no. talked to him okay. once. All right, okay. All right. He wants three hundred thousand dollars. Just yeah. trying to get ideas, you know. <laughs> he needs five hundred. <laughs> how about this? How about this piece here? This little. Oh, that's 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 so, next door neighbor. There's a house here. Yeah, it's a house. He, yeah. He's he, he can't give nothing away. <laughs> right. Because we've well, had people right. do that. You know? So the question though is, I know that you know when people hear the word subdivision, they sort of freak out a little bit. But a subdivision can be two units. I mean, right. it can be a hundred units. Right. So, Ten units you know, or two. So you should maybe explore that so, option. So. Okay. The issue would be, and as well as your road is maintained, it's probably maintained better than the town would maintain it, perhaps. Uh, well, that's yeah. why I got the pictures it's, there, and you go farther up the road. So maintaining it as a, and that's something that, you know, I've often, prior to being on the, being on the planning board, have been somewhat but, frustrated by, is that we do developments with what appear to be private roads, and then eventually we end up taking them over. But there's nothing wrong with private so roads. on the so subdivision, it, you know, if you went that road, we restricted it for two houses, he would get by, I mean, by putting a... Well, a subdivision has to build a road right. to the acceptance of the selectmen 
and highway superintendent. Right. So I think Mr. Mazik's point is that his road is as good as, or if not better than. That's what state. he says. But I mean, you you don't have to go with with them. Um, you know, I mean. You know, I don't like. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> um, but I mean, um, <laughs> if Delvin, if you don't have to go. put the road in like a town road. I mean, specifications. I mean, you can buy. No, but no, but but Corey's saying that it has to meet what the town would consider to be. So turn yeah. around. So right. much base and all. Right. That. Yeah. Yeah, but I uh, on the internet, I'm searching around for other towns, and I found one or two. But anyways, I I, I got a copy of this in there. This has to be stamped, and uh, what they describe is uh, you know a way of having the option in the ECM planning board. The planning board is the one that makes the decision. It has to be sufficient with suitable grades, adequate construction, blah 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 blah. So this is what they have in their bylaws mm -hmm. for accepting a private way, which... Uh, or allowing a private way, I suppose. Or allowing a private way, and, and, and you know, we... We'd have to... We really, I don't know if we got anything like that in ours, but um, anyways, I, 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 I don't was... think so. When I picked this up in their zoning bylaws, I thought that was interesting. And, uh, well, if, if there was a way to do this, would you be uh, willing, for example, I don't know how many units you're thinking, I mean, you, you mentioned your daughter, but is there a, another child in the family who might want to have a house out here at some point or whatever? But, I got a lot of kids. So, <laughs> but you could... I, I was very active in my younger yeah. years. I got six yeah. boys and two girls. Well, Seriously? <laughs> really? You could always, I mean, very active. Coming very from funny. the coming from the coming <laughs> no. from my business in my day job, I mean, easements and restrictions are placed on property all the time. And they're often placed on property as part of conditions of approvals. And then those conditions or easements run with the property so that neighbors, for example, are they don't see it as a, the nose of the camel under the tent, you know, where you know you let in one house and the next thing you know there's six or seven. You could restrict the subdivision and the use of the private lane to a certain number of units and and that runs with the deed and runs it with the in land court well actually i had on the front there i had some suggestions where you know uh be on a private way and uh, actually it would, it would have to conform to uh, your subdivision plans on uh, minimum frontage and uh, minimum square footage and actually it would be even more, and uh, it's like I say, it, I'm not interested in, uh, over the years I've built quite a few houses for myself, and each one seems to get father and father out in the woods, and we end up with more and more land, and, uh, you know, we do like it out there, and we like our privacy, and like I say, the, the road there, the right-of-way, uh, when Helms was there, uh, I gave them, they never had a legal, Lenny was the only one, he had 10 foot right away over there and I, I'd given them all a 20 foot uh, right away over the, the road and uh, part of the deal is they helped me, uh, you know, maintain it and plow it and everything else, you know. So uh, actually that road services uh, Three other families besides my family. It's actually uh, servicing four, four units right now, and they're the same thing. They, they don't want to see the land overly developed, and uh, you they know, like their privacy. Well, we all do. You know that's why I'm out there. You know, it's uh, I couldn't live on Main Street with you, Corey. Main Street wouldn't be big enough for, wouldn't be big enough for us. <laughs> so, But you're not going to be here forever. And what happens if your daughter goes, well, now we want to start, you know, that's that's where I'm looking. I'm looking so, towards the future. You know, like yeah. none of us are getting out of here alive. So so back to Bob's suggestion, but, I mean, I guess he's, yeah, he's, he could put um, a, doesn't matter. I mean, just a restriction. Like if that. you put restrictions yeah, in it put then a, and then they run with the deeds, right. then anybody that does a title search so would find those we restrictions. Would, we would make the restriction. But, but what I'm saying, there's enough land there where if you were to look at this as a legal right away in which you could build, if I were, if I wanted to divide that up, mm -hmm. I mean, 
I should uh, conform to all the building codes with 200 foot frontage. But that's yeah. assuming the town takes it as a town as a, road. As a what town we're road, suggesting yeah. or thinking, or what I'm throwing out there is that this this is a you know accepted as a private road as right as a yeah. subdivision, yeah. and it's actually limited to the number of units that can come off. Right. Of so we didn't put a you know a restriction, restriction that says that that right. subdivision is only to you know for yeah. two units or whatever. Right. Well, yeah, two additional like units. Like I said, you know, it's hard to tell by the map. Mm -hmm. My house, my driveway's up here. That's 800 feet off the road. Mm -hmm. And then there's another couple hundred feet before you get to the edge of the property. So, you know, this uh, this this little parcel over here has nine acres in it. Mm -hmm. You know, so, it, you know, on the map, it's deceiving how much land there really yeah. is there. But like I say, with the parcel I recently got at auction from the city, this whole parcel now has 39 acres, you know. So, uh, even reading a subdivision, which I don't want to get into, I, that's the last thing I, I really want to get into, uh, is a subdivision, but I mean, they, uh, I was listening to this gentleman, and there's a lot that goes, if you read, I, yeah, I know. read it, I shouldn't say if you read it. <laughs> <laughs> I've read it a dozen times, and you guys probably know what a hell of a lot better than I do, but I mean, you gotta have a lot of land that you have to put into you know, environmental land and this and that and everything else. And all I'm saying is if I really want to apply and put in a subdivision yeah. like he's putting in, I mean, I could load this all up with houses and all of this, 20 acres could be, you know, left as a, uh, uh, you know, forestry land mm -hmm. or whatever, you know. But I mean, that's not my desire. It's, uh, my my desire is not to. Well, if you wanted, say for example, you wanted to have like a unit here, a unit here, and a unit here, right. so there'd be four units total yeah. on this property. Then perhaps what you might be looking at is a subdivision approval for no more than what would end up being four units. Right. And on a private road. See, this, this is why, you know, I, I talk to Sykes, and, and I know, I know you just mentioned, you know, I get involved in flag lots, but I, I know several years ago you guys were button heads with Sykes here over uh, Mike Helms here yeah. in the, with his trailer. And Sykes was right, okay? <laughs> Because that was never a legal building lot. I know. It was put there illegally, blah, blah, blah. And trailers and, are illegal, too. And, and he, you know, he, he wouldn't... Uh, That's he, a, he, he wouldn't, sit down, you're getting older. Yeah, I know. He wouldn't, uh, you know, issue any permits. And, and I guess you guys we call might. Mike that he could. And, and, you know, I'm just saying, I'm going back to these flag lots. If that was... That's how his father got the land originally years ago was it was a flag lot and uh you know if it was a flag lot there would have been no arguments but i i sort of can see your argument but it, it, on another end and i'm not talking just for me i mean there's a lot of land in hatfield that has no road frontage and i I know up near us, I just bought a piece that had been abandoned. I've been up there 14 years, and that piece was abandoned before me. So, I mean, it was a lot of tax dollars lost. And on the other side of this land, right over here, this is another 39-acre parcel. That's been abandoned. And yeah, but opening up that land, really, the, the amount of taxes that the town doesn't get on that is nothing compared to what the town would end up paying if there, if it was developed. No, but, but what I'm saying is if you had the flag lots, someone would buy that parcel and you could give them a right away. Right. And, but, and restrict it to Right, but that doesn't, house. but that doesn't necessarily mean that the town is be any better off because 
there's more than enough studies that show that a ha the taxes from a house don't pay for all of the services that those folks end up, especially if they send their kids to local schools. So, I mean, having Dennis Moore and have tons and tons of land in 61B is not a bad deal for the town. Yeah. You know, um, and so, you know, opening up those properties, whether it's off Linseed Road or Old Stage Road, that may you know now have just narrow frontage isn't necessarily a great bargain for the town. So there, perhaps there's a way to address the situation that you want to deal with for your family without necessarily creating a precedent that opens up a lot of property. I, I guess the thing is that I'm getting at is that if we got to do the subdivision, I do not want to end up having to come in and subdivide all the land off and have, you know, spend fifteen, twenty thousand dollars to have a surveyor to go in there and lay out four or five building lots. And you have to do that. that. You don't have you to have do that. I mean, you're going to do... You know, this, well, this is what I'm saying. Well, Chris, Chris wants 34 units. You can do a subdivision of two units if that's all you want. Is you, yeah. just, you don't have to do a maximum and number. In fact, if you did a maximum number, you'd probably have a bigger problem than if you did a smaller number in terms of town reaction and neighbor reaction. So you can present it, you know, with two lots. And you, okay. well, yeah. you know, well, and or one lot. Yeah, two lots. Right? Yeah, uh, two lots. I, yeah. I, I, His house I, and the other house. Yes, they yeah. say two lots. I, say, well, okay. I, I think of a subdivision is. Yeah. yeah, right. Multiple, 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 yeah. multiple yeah. units. I don't yeah. think yeah. Well, yeah. 12, You're trying to make it worthwhile to build a road. Yeah. 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 And I don't think, you know, you have to do, you know, like, I mean, we're talking, you know, like Christmas and, and Hatfield Village and, mm -hmm. and right. Chuck Bowles. I mean, we're talking big things. I mean, yeah. you know, a lot of things that have to go into that. And they, you know, they come back numerous times. So I think what you're saying, Bob, is if he keeps it simple, he doesn't have as many hoops to go through, right? Yeah, I mean, I would think, you know, the word under the, the general title of subdivision is everything from subdividing the land once into two, un into two lots as, or putting in a new a Levitt town or something like oh, that. So don't think of it necessarily as having oh, to be, see, you know. I, reading it, I think it was subdivision. Yeah, as and being I, a I, lot I, of I units. And, and, yeah. and I never yeah. seen a two lot subdivision. Yeah. Well. Every subdivision. <laughs> Give me the I first. Have, every, yeah, every subdivision. Well, I when, you seen and, and, when you only have 200 and, when you only have 230 feet of road frontage, then the subdivision may only be two end up being two units if that's what you really want to get yeah. back there because you don't have the road frontage for another house with a by right because you have to put a cul-de-sac in the back anyway to get out mm. start thinking well this this is why i'm saying i know you know what uh, i know i was out there when you built the first one Oh yeah, that's right. The board of health, you are. <laughs> You're on every board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what board aren't you on? The selectmen. <laughs> selectmen. Oh yeah. Well, you can that still run. Your... You know, yeah, it's, it's open now. You know. You can have it. No, I can't. <laughs> but anyways, you know, I, I just saw you show so you some of the pictures, and uh, I thought I'd throw some food for thought out. And, uh, and, okay. Uh, let you kick it around and uh, get back to you, uh, maybe. When's Bob month? Bartlett coming back, uh, Wilma? Next week. Next week. Yeah, Which, you know, I'd give him probably a call, for too, because he has some like, you know, he has pretty good yeah. ideas. Yeah. Well, I, I, I was just surprised, and I heard someone say that it was cold weather got to him, so he had to go to Florida. <laughs> but he, he has, you know, he has good ideas, you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know, I, I would ask him as well. He's, uh, he's you know, planning for member too, so. Okay, well, I guess that, you know, that, like I say, my main thing is I don't want to put a, a single detached dwelling on the property because it, it has to go with the whole property. And like I say, if I decide to sell our house and move on, then if the kids build the house, they're out too, mm -hmm. you know. Right. So, I mean, that's... Oh, you're like, why the hell should they build? You know, mm -hmm. They build a nice house that they want, and then I sell my house, and it's like, hey, <laughs> you know, get, 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 a, get, a, get a moving truck because you're going too, yeah. you know? Okay, yeah, good. All right. Okay. Well, well Corey knows the way out there. He can take you out there and show you around. 
<laughs> I'll wait till it warms up. Yeah. The road is nice out there. So you tell me. It is. Ain't much difference between that and the tire road going out. It only gets worse when you go up on the city road. You, you don't have potholes. <laughs> Okay. No, you've always kept a good track of the land and taken care of it. Okay, I thank you, gentlemen, okay, thank you. for All right. giving us some of your time. And All right. When, uh, thank you. When Bob gets back, maybe uh, we can get together again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else to come before the board? <laughs> well, there's some people sitting out here. Oh, okay. Yes. Hello. I'm Abby Stiles. I actually called you a while back. Um, and my mom's over here as well, Ellen Stiles. And uh, we're from Northampton, and we are looking into moving to Hotfield. We really like the, the neighborhood and the feel of that, and especially seeing some of the, I guess maybe that generational living type of situation. And as my parents are getting a little bit older, we're, they're, we're trying to think about possibly cohabitating, but with, um, with still some, you know, um, uh, independence, of course. So we've, we're looking at a couple of properties and we just wanted to come to you and Wilma was nice enough to sneak us in tonight um, to see kind of what our options are. Um, I had called you about the uh, 68 Plain Road area, the Batty property, uh, is one of the things that is on the table and this last gentleman, um, that was a really interesting conversation because we were looking at possibly parceling that that property off. However, there wasn't enough frontage as well. They only have about 370 um, frontage, so we couldn't do two properties. So that, that conversation would be maybe an option if, if you guys would ent ever entertain a, um, a subdivision, I guess. And then the other property that we're looking at is on 18 Scotland Road, um, which is um, Mr. Matusiewicz's ginormous property um or if you're familiar you can with can afford that property <laughs> <laughs> well it's not myself and um it was myself and my sister and then our our spouses and then my parents and that's you what mean it house, but, yeah but, okay. am i saying the same that, am i Matashevitz. Matashevitz, thank yeah. you pardon me yeah. i know on tv but can you clean seven bathrooms yeah it's insane, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's really crazy. But it's for what we're looking at doing that that might be a possibility and, and makes sense. Um, but it, so my sister, like I said, my sister and and her husband and myself and my husband and my parents would probably want possibly another, believe it or not, another area off of that house. And so our questions for you today are a little bit of um, what what can we do? What what makes a true single family, what makes a true two family, um, how do they connect, some of the, the basics of, um, that are in the bylaws when we look at them mm -hmm. to say, you know, they say you can do a two family with the proper square footage or square footage and whatnot. Um, we know the Scotland house doesn't have enough square footage for a technical two family. Um, mm -hmm. It only has 45,000 square feet and it sounds like we need 64,000. Um, so could we just make, you know, one big house, one big family, you know? How did Louise Schlage do the, the, the little sort of she, double family? She came, she, she did two families public hearing. Yeah. Two she families. Went, so they have a, they have 65,000 square feet there. They have a bigger lot. There. Well, yes, she, she has three acres in the back. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a lot of, okay. a lot of okay. land there in yeah. the back. Yeah, okay. Not that it's on frontage, but it's. Yeah, right. Yeah, but they can't. Has, they wanted to talk about the, uh, like the flag lot yeah. kind of a thing yeah. too. Also. They wanted to do that. And we, right. So they settled for that. Right, okay. That. This is where, um, just. Um, this is that a family that uh, had a house uh, on Elm Street and they added a a little bit to the side, it, mm -hmm. and, and it basically is a second home that's attached. It is a two family. So do they have to be attached? This other gentleman mentioned that he could put on his property a detached another family. Is that possible? Got to be connected some way. Okay. You Whether it's one, you have to have a breezeway or a. Yeah. And that's when, when I, I stopped and chatted with Stanley, and he, he said yeah. I had to come to talk to you guys yeah. about what is the technical connection. So you said a breezeway or something it's like gotta that. It's got to be connected. Okay, that, that's fine. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's got to be connected. Now, is there any wiggle room at, on that square footage? Um, because I have, if we were able to move forward with 
the Scotland property, um, my, my parents would prefer to have a two-family situation just to keep um, that independence um, with, with utilities and things of that nature. And so if we were to somehow do that, we are short that 18,000 square feet. So would that be a possibility that we could petition somehow knowing that we are short that if I can't? But you say you had 200 and what? Um, for what? How much, how much uh, frontage you have? The frontage? Scotland Road. Scotland Road. Oh, shoot. Um, that one is, that one is over 200. It, it, I know that, but yeah. what, what, what's the overage? How much? I don't know that off the top of my head. I apologize. Well, you mentioned some figure, I thought. Yeah. Um, it was, um, it was a square footage. I apologize. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I did mention it on the, on the, the Plain Road for, property. For so I'm sorry family, we're missing right? two of them. So the Scotland Road, and that's where we understand that you don't need for, for the subdivide the, the 200 square feet to make it two He has a really wise. large garage. I mean. Oh, I know. And I mean, there's nothing there. I mean, we looked at that, but that would be where my parents would live. And because again, they okay, they, yeah, they, that's right. they walked up and they said, if it wasn't on the second floor, this would be wonderful. But unfortunately, that doesn't make sense as they're trying to go to single level living. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that would make a perfect sense. So the exercise does you good. <laughs> is that what keeps you so young? So that lot is forty. Yeah, yeah. That lot is a four. That's a forty-five thousand square foot lot. Forty-six three oh seven. Yeah. Yeah. And so I know that um, Mr. McGrath owns a swath of land behind that is unusable land. And then the, the neighbors next door, I did chat with them and asked if they would be willing to, you know, kind of give us or sell or whatever make the fifteen thousand square feet, 60? which they'd like to actually do that. And they had when they were building their house, been in touch with Mr. McGrath to see if they could buy what's behind their house, which is useless land. Honestly, it's not a building lot, but um, it's, I guess he didn't want to work with them or whatever. He wanted too much money. So if we could do that, I guess we would be able to, if we could get 64,000 square feet, would we be able to then? Well, you only need 60,000 60, for a two family dwelling. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said we yeah. needed 4,000. That's for a multi family. Th see oh. the difference between yeah, a, thank you. So a, a two family is. Wait a minute. That's outlying. But outlying. Not in the center. That's that's what zoned no. over there. No, but rural they're rural. That's rural residential. So yeah. their two family dwelling is. is 60,000. 60,000. So a two family dwelling 60, is 60, like 000. a, you know, like a traditional house with two fa you know basically sure. two families the multi family dwellings are where they for all intents and purposes they look like two mm -hmm. separate houses but they're the attachments are the garages Joined and then you add 4000 for each unit you have okay. okay so i guess then to yeah. get the right termolo terminology we'd be looking at a two family then for what our purposes would be uh, unless you're bringing your sister into the picture then you've got three families well Yes, but I guess for our <laughs> um, for our restrictions um, from what we're seeing in town of what's available, um, my sister and myself would be willing to cohabitate in one family mm -hmm. um, and try to. And that Scotland house, if you're familiar with it, there is like a whole other house. Honestly, is a second garage that is attached. So it, it really is an interesting is that property that is obviously is no, having trouble no, selling. It's right. the one, and oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's the one on the right hand it, side. It would the other suit our side. needs, perhaps. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. So the question would be is um, if, if would would we be if we could get that extra land or if we could just somehow be asked for special permission to and the reason why I'm asking for that on Scotland is I do know of another property that is a two family over on Bridge Street um, and they have the same square footage and yet it is a two family so I was curious. It have been built as a two family. Yeah. You know, it could have been pre-existing, a pre-existing non-conforming right, yeah. situation. You know, these these laws, you know, weren't there forever. So right, okay. So, so made, that's what we were wondering. We if they the, in. When they updated the zoning right. bylaws, yeah. then it was so it could have, you know, and if it qualified back yeah. then, then they're they're fine. And that was in '90, so who knows? Yeah. Yeah. So is this yeah. Mike McGrath that owns the property? That's uh, yes. Have you spoken to Mike? Yourself? I've not talked to Mike yet. Um, just if I'm dealing with the realtor, I guess. Mike and Mr. and Mitch um, are friends Mendick. too. Um, so Michael Mendick? Um, is that the realtor? No, the realtor Mendick? right now is um, Brad McGrath. No, he took it away. He yeah. 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 So he oh. switched realtors again recently. Okay. Oh, recently, okay. Yeah. Or I guess in the fall. Okay. And so we haven't yet gone that route. We're still trying to figure out, I think my parents actually prefer the 
plain road property, but we kind of had wheel, ruled that out because we didn't think that there was any way of parceling off land or, or, or we, just, we just didn't know. But that has, what, 17 acres over there. Well, and it's a flag lot. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a narrow, yeah, yeah, we have a lot of narrow right? lots. In it's 370. Um, that was the, the square footage I was mentioning, or the frontage. So it's a, a bigger frontage. That's, that's a fight. That's, that was, uh, what's this, up by your property? It's next door to him. Yeah. And so I actually had called Mr. Bartell and said, <laughs> could we buy some of your property? We only need 30 square feet of frontage, or 30 feet of frontage. And he said he can't because it's a 61B property, so we couldn't. Well, I, I could if I wanted to. I have to buy out of it. Oh, okay. But if I sell it, then I have a narrow piece. Mm, and right. I lose value. Exactly, and that's what. Um, and you wouldn't be willing to pay me the value of it. Sure, and and I these. Mean. So that's where we're still trying to figure out our our, our pieces. And, but when we try to figure out even what a single family is to two family, how do they connect and this and that, it was a little gray. But we do know at some point we will be moving to Hatfield. We love the area, Good. and oh. we and we it's like nice family town. community. And so we thought this this made sense. So we figured we'd come say hello because we might be talking to you again. Oh, we're trying to keep it that way. Yeah. And that's what we want to do. And so we understand that these multifamily or generational living, um, it seems like it happens a lot here. Is Mr. Bowles' neat. property all sold or did you check with? Which, who? Um, Chuck Bowles, you know, that, that new division that's going in on them. Elm Street. Elm Street there. You know. On the right yeah. there, if yeah. you're coming yeah. toward town. Yeah. My yeah. understanding were those were 65 and older. No, that no, no, that's no, that's no, a uh, no. that's a no that's, that's first. That's group. the first one. The that's first fifty five over is the first place. It's further yes, down yes, the road. Further down, down and then across the street. Yeah. Um there's what's the road across the street? Near where the half field. Yeah, I, I'm there. sorry, I guess I got misinformation on that because um yeah. I thought that was that, that's that's under and that and they are actually building connected yeah, houses, right? Yeah, is that yeah, what that is? Yeah, that's a multi six in a unit or four in a unit. Yeah. The concern that we have with that is, again, with my parents, they, those seem like they're going to be multi-level. No, actually, yeah. interestingly enough, because the, the 55 and over are multi-level, yeah. and they're not <laughs> handicapped accessible. And we asked Mr. Bowles about, just generally, about that. And he said that the designs are going to be such that they are going to, they are going to have two floors, okay. but they are designed for single-floor living. All right, so you know what I'm saying. Okay. So, um, so you could have you know a reverse where your guest room is upstairs, mm. and you have a downstairs you know bedroom bathroom situation, and you should talk. I would should, highly recommend yeah. you talking to him okay, because they're in the process. Is that what you're Bowls. Bowls. Bowles. Bowles. number. In my oh, it's B O W L E S. Okay. Now, the only thing that again, maybe I have misinformation, mm -hmm. was that they are going to be probably higher in the price range than we were looking for. I don't no, know. No, no, not, not. Where you think I don't know what Mitch wants to have this property was listed at, but I, I know before what was listed at. He oh, it's still the same. It's still the same. So again, we we will not be buying um, that house no, at that I, price. I, I don't just, think anyone I, will. That's why it's been on for I think he's around 400, okay? I'm not sure. I really shouldn't say that because you know, we're, yeah, you know, I don't really know, but. Well, Chuck, when Chuck was here, we asked him what he thought the price range was going to be. And I thought he said 70. 365, yeah. 370. 350 yeah. to 365. Yeah. You know, okay. And of course, oh, that, you know, and who knows. Yeah, and, okay, so we can be in touch with him. Yeah, and the market, that. he has to test that market, too. Plus, then you've got to put in all your dues and stuff. It's, a, yeah. it's going to have, it's yeah. going to be a homeowner's, homeowner's association. association. Yeah. Yeah, we've been burned by homeowners yeah. associations before, so we're a little scared of them. Yeah, but it's them. um, but you know they're going to be um, you know farmhouse uh, uh, style. Yeah. yeah, Sears home style cottages. Okay. I mean, so he, he, he's sticking with the um, because he he had the problem where and he he wanted you have to put a if you don't go that route with an association, he would have to put a town road in, I believe, right? I mean, there's a lot, yeah. of, and mm, so you okay. know, um, but you know, I mean. It's, it, you know, I know, yeah, I'm familiar with, you know, associates too, and there's some really strict have, ones, okay? Yeah. You'll have to maintain the road, right? Mm. It doesn't come under the town requirements. And, you know, there's so. strict ones, but, you know, he's like sort of doing it only, you know, because, you know, my, you know the other costs involved. So, you know, again, I'm, I'm speaking for him, but really should ask him, because sure. she may not be as restricted as, I mean, some are condo associations are disasters. Right. Uh, you know, I mean, they restricted everything. That you can't get out of them so if there's I don't a lawsuit know on them and things of like that. Yeah. You know. I mean, okay. I mean, so, um, I know. Uh, the other thing, um, and I, I'm, I'm reading this again for the first time in a while, but 
have you bought one of our um, bylaws yet? I've only been looking what's online. Oh, well, There's that's a much fine. better that's one. Same, no, no, yeah, it's the same, same thing. thing. No, yeah, no, no, I, I print it off online. Or, yeah, and it has a nice chart of the, yeah, the different right. um, um, I would, and everything. I would, yeah. th I'm thinking of your Plain Road mm -hmm. project, mm -hmm. and maybe we need to talk to Mazik about this as well. I would direct your attention to 6.2, the open space development okay. ordinances, mm -hmm. and just go through this. There might be some possibilities there. No. no? You don't think so, Corey? Not up there. No. When I spoke, not up there on Plain Road? Plain or, Road there might be. But yeah, oh, not up here on Old Not Mazik's up there. Not Mazik's, but maybe on Plain Road. Now, when I chatted with Stanley, would that mean, and, and he, he made it sound like that it would never be a you, possible, probably, except for talking to you, of course, because um, it wasn't divisible or dividable. Um, there wasn't enough room for a perhaps private road like this other gentleman was saying. Uh, again, we only want to use it for our family. We don't want a gazillion people in there either. Well, um, we, we hear that story all the time. And then that doesn't happen? <laughs> then they turn around and try to do something else. Oh. And they do well, something can't you put it, like you're saying, in some sort of restriction? And so oh, it's could. protected? Yeah, but you can't. It's hard to restrict a property to a... Pr you can restrict a property to number of you units and it. size, but not to, the fa not to the last name that lives in it. So that, sure. you know... <laughs> sure. That makes sense. Yeah. But so, so we'll look into that for sure. Um, now, we do know that there's enough room there, of course, for it to make that a multi or two-family, two I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the question was, what makes it a two-family? Um, like, how would they connect? Square foot. A two-family is... I, well, think about, you know, the, the Holyoke homes, you know, where you have, you know, each floor is a different mm -hmm. family. I mean, that's a, that's, you could have two families under one roof, basically. Sure. A multifamily is where when you look at it, if you drive by Elm Street, you know, the uh, Hatfield Village, and you look at those, they're, right. they're, they look, for all intents and purposes, to be two individual houses that have okay. garages that are connected to each other. Okay. The only connection between them is the fact that there's this garage. Connected. So is the garage the connecting piece? Because if we did Usually build it's a breezeway or a garage. Usually a breezeway. Again, we'd be wanting to have multiple families on there, I guess, but co living. So I think if we use the Plain Road, for example, there already is a house on there that my parents would live in, and then my sister and myself would build another, probably a large house, so that we kind of are both at the opposite ends, so we do have space, and so would that be a problem as long as it's connected? You must, you must have a friendly family, all stay yeah. together. Well, we're actually, my sister and myself are currently living together, so we do actually right. know that it works, we think. Yeah. But, but, but again, that's why we want that separation, because that, you know, they you might get sick of parents. us. Well, what, <laughs> what, did, what did Chris Smith do out on uh, School Street? That's a two-family two house, right? The, yeah, but he took barn. an existing house and set up the two. Right, but he has two units. I mean, no, he has on the same property. On the mean? same property. It's not a multi-family. It's, no, a, it's, a two two. Fam, it's a two-family house. Um, okay, on School Street? Yeah, it's on, is that, no, that's not, that's Chestnut Street at Chestnut. that point. And, um, it's, oh, right on the corner where they no, have like that one that goes back and around? No, it's, well, that uh, one, it's that not on attached to it. That's, um, it's not on the corner. There's tons of them around because I'm driving around on Elm Street. No, no. Now. Yeah. Where, yeah. where Ronnie LaValle used to live, next door to that. Um, I can't think of his name. He's a mechanic or something. He's, you know, he, he came to us on Prospect Street, across from Mary Vacula's. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he, he has two family, but he attacked. Or he does right? the cars. Yeah, he made he made he had a house he had a house here and he built a garage over here and he connected you know like connect this. Yeah. Like something like yes, that. Yes, I know exactly which one you're talking about. Because we've been driving around and we're finding mm -hmm. that and you know That's that's the most to my knowledge, that was the most recent one. But a lot of these houses were existing pre Whenever we updated yeah, this, pre-2000 like or 1990. Right. Okay. Prior to all the current zoning oh, laws. So they were, they were non-conforming uh, pieces of prop under today's standard. They're non-conforming. And that's all old. And, but they're yeah. grandfathered. Yeah. They're grandfathered. Okay. But so now so, so you, I'm playing now you have to follow the new rules yeah. now that these are in yeah. place. Sure. So the Plain Road different. property has a house on it. It does, correct. It does. Yeah. And it has, you have 60,000 square feet over there? Really, 17 acres. 17 acres. Yeah. Okay. 17 acres. So, what about frontage? Three, 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 320? 
No. 370. 370. So, so we're short. So couldn't they do, well, but couldn't they do something not unlike what Louise did, where they, they have an existing house mm -hmm. and they add? They could add they, on can to Can they that. buy anything behind it? Huh? Can they buy enough land behind it? Well, they got seven. Well, they own, no, they own, they own, no, they have they 17, 17 acres on acres. Plain Road. They have okay. 17 acres. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Put a, okay, a huge addition are. on that house. Yeah. 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 So you could. I think you're familiar with you that. You could one. add a, an addition that's actually another house. Another, oh, yeah. And make it a two family. Family. Then. And right. make it a two and family. Then they are two yes. families. So that makes sense to us. Our question was just, you know. Because they'd have 60,000 square feet. How do they have, how do they have to be attached was the question of to making it a two-family. Because, again, we want that division. So if you can kind of divide it with the long, and, and sorry, now, correct way. me if I'm wrong, that's a public hearing? Yeah. That yeah. Would, that's okay, a to make sure the neighbors yeah, are happy. Yeah. Okay. Well, you could connect it. <laughs> well, what what Louise and their, and, and their family did, their, I mean, their... I don't know if they have an interior door that goes from one to the other, but from all intents and purposes, when you look at it from separate the outside, it looks like two separate, separate yeah. Yeah. houses sure. that are just connected to each other like with, you know, yeah. firewalls. And they did so, their homework because no one came to the public hearing. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I mean, you could oh, you could have a you know a connect an addition that has no connection between the two. You could right. Just have to so that if at some time you and your sister decide to move out of town, mm -hmm. your mom and dad could sell that other half to somebody else. I mean, right? I mean, even it, though they're on the same property. Sure, sure. It's a two-family house. Doesn't say they have to be related. Yes. Two-family doesn't mean. But it's one lot of land. Yeah. How can you sell, sell it? Sell the house separately. <laughs> you have to get a good friend. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. But it still would be a little bit like what that other gentleman was saying that it, it's a tougher sell, as you know, if you were trying to sell it off. That's right. If they're connect, connect, you know, right. two families, sure. Or you Fair might enough. get somebody to buy it and put well, it in there. Our goal is to be there for a long time, it, you know. It's not it. impossible. I mean, there's houses all over Boston that have three and four families selling, you know, that live in them and they sell, you know, different units. I mean, that's, you know, hmm. Brookline is sure. loaded with houses like okay. that. Okay. Interesting. You know? Okay. How about kitchens then? Are there any restrictions in the town of Hatfield if you wanted like a basement kitchen and whatnot, or extra kitchens? Well, I don't know. Building, we can live inspector. in the basement, can we? I don't know. I my husband's well, Portuguese, and every Portuguese family has an extra kitchen, and no, so are they legal? Could you have extra kitchens? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Building it. All I know is that the yeah, fire department does, it frowns on it. On basement kitchens. Or have right. it just any kitchen, um, any kitchen, if it wasn't even in a basement. Depends on how much area getting in there. And yeah, because, you know, you're talking building inspector stuff now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so that's yeah. not a question for you guys, no. which would be Boy, that blows a two-family compared to a one family and stuff like that. That's a, f okay, that, that's a great answer. He's retiring shortly, so you have to get to him now. Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> good to know. Um, so I guess, I think, Mom, any other questions? Any I know. Any other restrictions we should know about, I guess, yeah. with one, you know. We sent papers to the retirement board today, so July 1st. For kidding. Stand. Oh, oh. Yeah, I mean. So 60,000 square feet. Yeah, take. We, this is available yeah. online. You could print yes, the whole yeah. thing Yes, yeah. Oh, off. we have all that out. Yeah, yeah exactly. And then, um, you know, if you can do some of it with Manischewitz's and talk to Mike McGrath. But. And if you couldn't do that then, and this is my lovely picture. Because we didn't come prepared. <laughs> I know. I, I should be an architect. This is. His house, the main house with the attached garage already now, and we couldn't, we're not going to use that garage, unfortunately, for them. But if we wanted to build off a smaller addition over here to make this one still one big, big, fa one family still, because yeah. we can't get the extra square footage, would that be possible? Are there any restrictions on that? That size of the house, as long as yeah. you say you're right. as long distance as the, the away size, from the size yeah, and the exactly. front. Exactly, so it is the required the setbacks. 50 yeah. on the sides and 30 from the back. And, and all a lot of coverage. And lot coverage, and we did figure out right. that's 25%, I believe, and um, you're at, from the lot coverage. Yeah. We're, and we, I mean, from measuring it out, we thought we were fine. We thought we were in like the 18, 18, 18 19 range. Yeah. So, so that is a possibility, I guess. As long as you've got the setbacks, right? I mean, yeah, as long as you've got the, the setbacks. Size. And if you don't have the setbacks, you can ask for a variance, and that would then there'd be a notice to all the neighbors, and there'd be a public, yeah, public that hearing. Would go to the house. Oh. Yeah. I'm curious if that is what happened on the, um, he's got a driveway coming into that second, that back garage, and I didn't know, it, it, it's supposed this? to be 30, this is um, the Scotland house, 
Um, and so I was wondering if that garage is actually 30 feet back off that road. It looks tight, but. Uh, it's tight there, but um, that may have been a pre. Was that a pre-existing garage that then got renovated, uh, or was it all new? That was all construction. That, that was built after the house. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Amazing. Everything's after us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I think we've had our. So then we would just have to come to you guys again if we had if we did move forward and yeah. ask for. And just go yeah. by. Well, for this this thing here, what this. you're outlining there, as long as you meet the setbacks and the lot coverage, you're just going to Stanley. Yeah, for that's a building, a building inspector. inspector. That's, that's just, just a, that's that's Stanley. Stanley. Right. Yeah, that's just a building permit uh, request. Okay. But anything else with that other property of trying to get this? If you're going to get a variance or something. Or to that turn thing. that into a two-family two or family. a multi-family, then yes. It has to come to us and has to have a public hearing. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. okay. We've, thank you. Yeah. It was nice if you become a resident of the town, there's vacancies that. on boards, you know, and committees. <laughs> <laughs> you seem very knowledgeable, so. Yeah. We try, yeah. And keep your eyes and ears open because there's houses going up for sale all the time. All the time. And that's we know. We're coming well, and there's the a lot of season. Yeah, there's a lot of existing two-family homes in Hatfield. They may not all have the right. single floor accessibility that you're looking for because sure. most of them are older homes. but. Yeah. Do you know of any? We're watching. <laughs> I figure it's you good to go upstairs. You yeah. never know. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I get my exercise. That's right. There you go. Is your bedroom still upstairs? Certainly. Good for you. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, nice meeting you all. Thank okay. you for your time. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. We'll see you again. Hey. So I'll be back. Any, any other? I'll watch it. What time do these meetings usually end? This is an early one. Booked. This is early? Ah. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Thanks again, Wilma. Well, are we almost are we done? Are we almost done? Any further discussion? We'll close the meeting. Any other uh, un un unfinished business? We're no. When you when you're going to take up this new thing that you're getting here to look at subdivision right here. Regional ho Valley Housing Plan or Regional Housing Plan for Pioneer Valley. Yeah. I don't know. You're retired, Mr. Bible, so you can discuss it. I just got it. <laughs> oh, I might stay on. Keep you in order. We can we can look at it at our next meeting. Well, whatever. I don't no, I just read it. It's I read it. Did it put you to sleep? Well, I skimmed it. Past your bedtime. It's nine o'clock. I don't go to bed till midnight. <laughs> Um, okay, I move we adjourn then if there's nothing else. I second it. So the next meeting's April 2nd. Yeah, I got that down in the book.